Largest open studio tour in the country starts up later today in Northeast Minneapolis. It's Art of World time and Shane Wells is ready to whirl at the Northrop King building. Good morning, Shane. Good morning. We're doing it big this morning. You know, there are more than a thousand artists involved, 70 locations and with it within each location, tons of studios. And this is a really fun spot to check out. We're at PF Studios. This is number 285 in Northrop King. Because as you walk through, there's several different artists that use this space. You see clothing design, textiles. You walk through and see what feels like an intimate paint studio. So everyone sets up their space to their own liking. And then we find Silent Fox. There's a joke in there with like Blabber Fox and Silent Fox, but we're gonna get through this. Tell us a little bit about your path to becoming an artist. Okay, um, so I've been painting or drawing since I was a little kid. Never considered myself an artist until my mom in high school told me like, maybe you should go to college for art. Like just explore that and um, take a deeper look into it. And so that's what I did. I went to MCTC for two years, taught myself or learned design and art. And then I went to Augsburg, graduated there. I double majored in art and design. And um, after graduating, I didn't know what I was gonna do with my art career, but I knew I wanted to be around art. I ended up getting a job at the MIA as a security guard where I was able to connect with other artists, connect with um, the community and just like talk about art. I love that, that you aspect. immersed yourself yeah, I, I in stayed. art. <laughs> you found a way, which eventually led you a spot here at PF Studios. Yes. We see painting, sketching, graphic design. You do a little bit of everything. Yes. And this is one of the larger pieces you're working on. Do you want to walk us through that one? Yes. Um, so currently I'm working with my Omi to connect with um, youth artists. So we're teaming up with Project Minnesota to create an exhibition about gun violence. And so I'm gonna show the youth some of my pieces um, the next couple months and collaborate with them so they can create their own pieces of art to make an exhibition about that topic. And then I was just looking at your process too, where you have this big piece of canvas, you taped it up. You say some people have the process, they put it on the frame first, some people do it this way, they can wrap it up later. Yes. It's just interesting to see into people's minds and that's part of Art of World. You'll be here, you'll be sketching, mm -hmm. you'll interact. People yes. can come in, I said it's maybe a little invasive, <laughs> it's your private space where you do your work, but then this is your chance to connect yes. with people as well. Third one. What did you learn from the first two that you're hoping to um, do with this one? Just like relax, everything's fine. <laughs> People are actually really friendly and supportive and they love having conversations um, and just like go explore, it's art. <laughs> right, there's so much to see. We appreciate your time, thanks so much. If you wanna come check this out again, it starts up today at five, runs all the way through the weekend. There's so many places to see, plan your route ahead of time. You can learn more, N-E-M-A-A. Dot org. That's the Northeast Minneapolis Arts Association. Mm -hmm. It's you. a huge event. We it can is. see why. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to go two days this, this year. Awesome. I go every year and look forward to Not it. Not a bad plan. Okay. Thanks, Shane. Uh, as far as uh, getting around the metro area, how is that looking? Mm -hmm.